My name's um, Sam Facey and I'm a project officer here at ZSL. I work in the estuary and wetlands team, so I'm involved with water quality, wildlife associated with rivers, that kind of thing. Water voles are quite a special species because they're considered a keystone species. They affect the vegetation that they live in, they create burrows, they change the soil moisture content, which in turn affects the uh, vegetation structure and the vegetation species composition. But they're also the base of a food chain, so they support barn owls, herons, otters, pikes. They're very important in terms of changing their habitat they live in, but also providing food um, for higher up the ecosystem. So water voles are quite interesting because they, they're quite proficient breeders. So during one season, they might have three to five litters, each litter having up to maybe five individuals. So within a short period of time, their population numbers can expand quite dramatically, which is great to, to allow future population to recover. So it does give us hope that you know the work we're doing now will have a great knock-on effect in the future just by protecting a few isolated water vole populations. So water voles um, face quite a few threats. Historically, they had quite a large population, so they're around 8 million at the beginning of the 19th century. They now declined to around 130,000, was the kind of the last rough estimate. So this varies from intensive agriculture, change of habitat, degradation of habitat, pollution. Uh, the American mink's a big threat now for them as well. So there's loads of different threats kind of compiling, which meant they've lost a lot of their numbers and have decreased occupancy across the United Kingdom. ZSL is helping water voles now in London, so we're working in partnership with uh, Giggle, People's Trust for Endangered Species and the London Wildlife Trust. It's been great seeing loads of different organisations and different people, different kind of friends of group come together all with an interest in conserving water voles. So that's been like the most successful thing we've had so far and this is only year one so hopefully in the next few years we are to see some real difference. So myself and Emily from the People's Trust for Endangered Species um, were today training volunteers to conduct a water vole survey as part of the National Water Vole Monitoring Programme run by PTS. And this is essentially to set up these sites within London to conduct annual surveys. So the idea being that in future years time we'll be able to have an idea of the trend if water voles are increasing in areas or decreasing. And also we're trying to set up sites not necessarily with water voles present at the moment so hopefully in areas of suitable habitat within the next few years. Hopefully you'll see water voles kind of rebound on their own. So these sites are hopefully going to kind of capture some of that uh, change in population and occupancy areas. In terms of the water vole future, I hope to see lots of clean water bodies, rich with wildlife, including water voles, restoring degraded water systems in London and the rest of the UK to have these once thriving species back to their original state. So thank you for all the ZSL supporters out there that allow us to do this work and protecting a UK endangered species.